Hey guys, what's happening in your world? A lot is happening here, or is about to, or has been. Um, this episode, which I called Giving the Gift of Music, has a couple different meanings. And as you see it, you're going to figure out, I shot this episode about four months ago, around the holiday season. And I shot it about the time we were wrapping up Lefty, the Junk Pile Arch Top which I'll give you a link to the playlist up there. It is a kit guitar that I built for Tammy. You all know my daughter, Tammy. She's left-handed, so I got a left-handed kit and built a kit. And um, I think you'll enjoy, if you haven't seen the episode before, watch that uh, guitar being built, you'll probably enjoy this clip. And it ends with um, Tammy actually playing the guitar um, around Christmas time. So... Why did I wait for this part? Well, we are about to go on a journey of what is literally the worst guitar you have ever seen me work on. I think you saw it in an episode called something about Sean Mann, dude, the worst guitars in the world, right up there, right about now. It was one of two guitars that got shipped to me out of the San Francisco area, but... I have been working on this guitar and probably have a hundred hours into it right now. And I want you to think about that. If you have a luthier that you can find for $50 an hour, you're probably doing pretty good. So multiply 50 times 100 and um, I'm going to let you in on something. This is the condition of that guitar right now. Pretty headstock, huh? It's called the Galliano Junk Pile. But, does this look like a $5,000 guitar to you? No, it sure doesn't. But, we're going to spend about the next 10 or 12 episodes on my channel, or about two and a half months on this guitar, and you are going to see just about everything that could be wrong with a guitar and how I kind of hobble things back together. It's an 80-year-old guitar. So, before we go on that adventure, I want you to think about something. A lot of tools involved, a lot of um, uh, odd techniques, a lot of, at the end of the day, this is not a Gibson. Yeah, that's chick flick teal cloth striping in there, or fabric, excuse me, in the back. So, I had to do so much work to this that you might ask yourself, when you're looking at that guitar on Craigslist or Marketplace or OfferUp and, and you see something that says $300 and you get it home, you got to put a lot of money into it. This next set of episodes uh, about the Galliano junk pile will help you do just about any of those things for um, in a way that you don't have to break the bank and you can kind of hobble through it. And you have a guitar at the end of it you like, but... I want you to consider, especially if it's your first time diving into a guitar, think about taking a look at one of these kits. Um, you go ahead and do that, and if you do, you know, Christmas is only, well, it's middle of May now, and so if you were to decide to build something, now's the time to start thinking about it, so come Christmas morning or somebody's birthday, get out months ahead of it. It's certainly not going to take you months to build one of these uh, kit guitars but yeah get out ahead of it and the good part about building one uh, of those you kind of end up with something really cool at the end that's worth way more than what you paid for it um, and it's something you can enjoy and meanwhile I'm over here pushing on this kind of stuff by the way this is going to be beyond cool when I'm done I hope you'll uh, track the progress with me on this one the episode starts next week we're kind of open up what this is and then after that it gets real messy all the way through the end where it'll end up in somebody's hand in some dive bar somewhere and you'll go really can that doesn't look like a five thousand dollar guitar so i'd rather i waste my time teaching you how not to than the other way around and yeah you know that's a lie anyway
have fun, watch this, and think about a kick guitar before we got, go down the torturous path that will be the Galliano junk pile. Anyway, where was I? Hey guys, I want to give a shout out to my friends at Guitar Kit World because I had an opportunity this holiday season to experience something that I may have unknowingly allowed others to experience through my guitar building, but it finally came home to me. Um, I got to thinking, what were Christmases like in the past? They certainly weren't like you make your own list and go on .com and hit send, and then when the stuff arrived, you had your mommy wrap it up and act surprised. No, I think like in the 1860s and 70s when my Norwegian uh, ancestors came to the country, or even in 1910, 1915 when my Czechoslovakian ancestors came to this country, there were a lot of handmade gifts Maybe your grandma made you something, maybe your father made you a toy and carved something, but there was no whatever this is we have right now where we have an economy where we make stuff to buy stuff. So, hey, want to talk about Guitar Kit World a little bit. You guys know that I build um, guitars. They give you a good way to start off with a body and a, a neck that all fits together. There's everything you need in here for a guitar. But if you're going to make guitars and customize them like I do, um, having just the body and the neck for what they charge is, well, it gets you off to a good start. So um, we'll take a look at what's here without knocking everything over. Okay, this is a kit with a neck, like I said. It, fits, it needs a little bit of sanding, a little bit of work. You can do some stuff on the frets. This body has a Florentine cutaway. Um, and everything you need is in the package here. Um, pickups. It even has strings and the cord you need to plug into an amp. You don't have an amp, but with some simple tools, you can put something like this together. Oh, I want to point out that Guitar Kit World has a number of body styles. Um, this one is spalted maple. Me being an arborist, I know that trees compartmentalize, decay to stop uh, from spreading and stuff. And they took a piece of spalted maple where you can see the tree responded by encapsulating decay or whatever it was. They bookmarked these together. You can see the line right there. It, chick flick teal needs, pointer needs work during the holiday season especially, but it follows right up to hear this is an awesome awesome um, body but this is kind of what started off my project let's get this set down and I can show you what I did okay that kit one like it that was a right hand kit this is a left handed kit now some of you know my daughter Tammy um, and you know her story if you don't let Margaret Garrett tell you right now but I took uh, the body and the neck and some of the parts out of Guitar Kit World Florentine Cutaway. By the way, this is not a Gibson. It never will be a Gibson. I don't put guitars together and say that they're a Gibson and try to fool people. And if you do that, anyway, go to the house. I don't need to hear from you. Anyway, um, started off, cut out the neck. Uh, made it look like those Coke bottle headstocks that you would see on a Harmony or a K um, in the 60s. I put a Tammy's name is a derivative of tomorrow, which is Hebrew for date palm. Um, Palmiro are people that work on palm trees. So Palmiro is really P A L M E R O, which are people who work on date palms that walk up in the crown that's what that is you finally know uh, put a coin here she likes playing up here on a slide her thumb drops down into that coin that has palm trees on it from Iraq in the 80s veterans thanks for thanks to those of you that served over there we've got uh, a pin jack and of course we have a grease zork in case your plane gets rusty back of it turned out really nice 
We actually stained this guitar with eucalyptus kino. I'm falling off my chair here. I'll give you an episode to how we did that. We just got some sap that leaked out and hardened out of a certain type of eucalyptus tree that we mixed with Everclear to make shellac, and this is the color that it turned out. We put a single input jack, used some scrap metal there that you'll see up here. This is an old Alice Chalmers sign that's cut out to match the neck. We put black hardware on it, the tuners, but anyway, we cut out the neck. You see that coin right there? That coin is actually more than 1,800 years old. There was a Roman em uh, emperor that decided it might be nice when they took over other countries and people that they would let those people have their own economies and this coin came from the area that is Lebanon now and it has a palm tree on it. Um, Tammy likes certain things. She reads. We never thought she'd be able to do that. This has something about Tam on it. She loves Bob Log and Sun House Music. We uh, filmed uh, an episode on the Greyhound bus with a guitar that Gallia Volt ended up with. Episode right up there right about now and anything that has a guitar on it on a matchbook is her favorite we use dog ear pickups we have a vanity plate from mississippi a lot of my guitars are mississippi themed uh made that pick guard and then um used a black uh tailpiece trapeze tailpiece a couple things i have on order i want a black bridge and black knobs but this is it you know guitar kit world you, you um, understood the importance of this uh, as far as Tammy went um, thanks for what you did for me on this kit um, you were part of a success story and I'll tell you what come Christmas morning when Tammy opened this she could not believe what she was looking at and it kind of took me back in time to where a father made his child's own Christmas present. You ought to try it. Um, take a look at their kits. I'm not pushing for Guitar Kit World, but their stuff works for me. Again, I use the bodies and the necks, and for the price I pay for those, if you think that every guitar that's being made right now isn't coming from kind of the same place, you're wrong. Anyway, venture out there. Pick somebody out, get ahead of it, give yourself plenty of time, and take a look at gifting somebody a guitar that you made. It'll last forever, and they'll appreciate it. It's certainly more rewarding than hitting enter or pretending that somebody picked out their own gift. So, hey, uh, Guitar Kit World, thanks for your help. Thank you for your support of what I do. And for all the rest of you, if you want to see some wild stuff coming ahead subscribe to my channel and watch what it's easier to see what i don't make a guitar out of than what it is i do give me a like and subscribe and thanks for your support especially this christmas season let's close out with watching tammy play a little bit on this guitar mm -hmm.